the lid being so close to the rest of the box, you'll find that the grain is similar in the lid to the box. So when the lid and the box are together, it's very hard to tell the difference, and it's very hard to tell that they're not from, they're not actually just one piece of wood. Yeah. The more professional way of doing things, like I said earlier, if you were here, it's a seven-year apprenticeship you serve as a wood turner. When you've done that, you work as a journeyman until you have your own shop. You join a guild. Um, you can see over there, every one of them has a powder charge in there, nine grams, which is enough to fill about three and a half inches of that barrel there uh, for when the ball goes down. So when you ignite the powder from the pan on the side there, what happens is it, it, it goes through a little channel into the main barrel and then discharges the powder, which discharges the ball out of the end. That little pan you can see, can you see there's an X on that pan? Yeah. Well, that X there marries up with the match door. So when you pull the trigger, you'll find the match touches that X precisely if the match is in the right place. That's where the expression X marks the spot comes from. You test it first to see if it marks the spot. So, it's also where you get the expression lock, stock and barrel. When you order a musket, if you don't specify, you'll get one without a lock. So you say, I want one lock, stock and barrel. Another reason, yeah? If you, um, if you don't connect properly, yeah, then it means that your musket won't fire properly. That's called going off half cocked. Yeah? Another expression also borrowed directly from the 17th century. So, interesting phrases, we still keep them, even now, from all that time ago. Yeah.